This video is part one of three videos that cover setup and installation topics related to the High Performa 5 to 1 Single Use Bioreactor, or SUB. It is based on the Thermoscientific High Performa 5 to 1 SUB User's Guide. Please refer to the User's Guide for detailed instructions. Topics covered are also applicable to Thermoscientific High Performa 2 to 1 subs, unless otherwise noted. In this video, we will cover the following topics. 5 to 1 system component labeling, preparing the load cells, 5 to 1 subsystem components are labeled for 5 to 1 mixing for 50 to 500 liter sizes. There is a hanging tag attached to the BPC bearing port that says this BPC is designed for 5 to 1 mixing. The motor mount is engraved with 5 to 1 mixing. There is a warning label on the BPC bearing port cap that says usable by 5 to 1 drive shaft only. The drive shaft has a black head that is engraved with 5 to 1 mixing. If your High Performa 5 to 1 50 liter, 100 liter, 250 liter, or 500 liter subsystem components are not labeled for 5 to 1 mixing, consult your sales representative immediately. There are no 5 to 1 mixing labels for 1000 liter and 2000 liter High Performa 5 to 1 subs and BPCs. High Performa 5 to 1 sub mixing speeds should be reduced when operating at lower volumes to avoid damaging the system. For recommended agitation rates, please refer to the user's guide. All manual movements of mobile High Performa 5 to 1 sub hardware should be over smooth surfaces, with the High Performa 5 to 1 sub empty and disconnected from all power and gas or feed sources. All load cells must be fully locked down in order to move the High Performa 5 to 1 sub. The load cells and their components are located at the base of the High Performa 5 to 1 subs. High Performa 5 to 1 subs are supplied with a spanner wrench for drive shaft insertion and load cell locking. For High Performa 5 to 1 sub hardware units purchased with factory installed load cells, the load cells are shipped in the locked position, threaded up for equipment protection. To unlock the load cells, remove the tri clamp. Loosen the lockout nut using the small end of the supplied spanner wrench. Repeat this process for each load cell until all of the lockout nuts are disengaged from the lockout posts. Do not reinstall the tri clamp. At this point, the High Performa 5 to 1 sub hardware is ready to be prepared for a cell culture run. For systems with load cell display screens, refer to the user's guide for information about calibrating load cells. Warning: Do not move the High Performa 5 to 1 sub, especially when filled, while load cells are unlocked, as this can damage them. To lock load cells that have been unlocked, hand tighten the lockout nut onto the post. Use the supplied wrench to turn the nut an extra quarter turn. Warning: To avoid damaging the load cells, do not over tighten the nut. Assemble the standard stainless 38.1 mm or 1.5 inch tri clamp around the flanges. Complete this process for all load cells. This completes part one of three videos that cover setup and installation topics related to the High Performa 5 to 1 sub. For further detailed instructions, please refer to the Thermo Scientific High Performa 5 to 1 sub user's guide. Contact your sales representative or get more information at thermofisher.com slash sub.